everyone, it's Anna here. Uh, today's video will be a little bit different because I'm creating a mini album and as I uh, am using a ready, ready base and uh, only a few pictures, uh, so the album will be really small, I thought that I will record a live scrapbooking type of a video so uh, you can follow my process. I will <laughs> speak to myself obviously <laughs> as only my dog is here so you will be able to uh, find out how am I working uh, because most of the uh, videos are uh, added to my YouTube channel are fastened so uh, I usually cut out the moments where I am in doubt when I am changing things or stuff like that and you can't really uh, see uh, the struggles and stuff so uh, I will make it a really <laughs> relatively long video, I hope less than an hour. <laughs> Uh, I will be using a ready base. This one is designed by Paige Evans and you can find it in a Silhouette Design Store. It's a um, kind of an album that looks like a gift uh, holder um, card or something like that. Uh, as you can see, you have this element and uh, it folds, folds like that. Uh, it folds like that. Let me do this. And this comes here, this comes here, and this comes here. And you basically wrap it around uh, with a, a string and a bow. I have a bow uh, cut it out from the uh, paper. And you have this sides to embellish along with this side and you also uh, get uh, in this cut file set this envelope um, I think it's supposed to go there like that and you glue down the envelope in the middle and you can add some pictures and uh, journaling tags and stuff like that inside of this uh, envelope so uh, not my much space to embellish, not much space to add the pictures, but I didn't have uh, such uh, amount of pictures for my birthday, from my bir uh, for my daughter's birthday, so it's no problem. Uh, I really don't need much more space. So let's start. Uh, I will start with gluing down this and <laughs> adding it into the middle. I am working with December kids from Hip Kid Club and I really love them. I am so tired of working with uh, winter themes because I am not such a winter type of a person. Uh, I love summer, I love bright colors uh, and I love, cre I love creating uh, bright designs so I am happy we are coming back to <laughs> to those because uh, December kits are filled with um, filled with colors. We have this really gorgeous collection called Good Vibes from Crate Paper mixed with some exclusive papers designed by Irid. I think it's done, it's holding. And and we have also uh, stuff from a uh, collection by Vicky Bouten and I still don't know its name. How does it come? <laughs> I'm not sure. And we have also some elements from um, mix number two collection by Pink Fresh Studio. They are not even, I think they were revealed like uh, yesterday or two days before on the Pink uh, Fresh Studio blog, but we have them already because uh, Kimberly is a wizard and she knows people and they give us those stuff so fastly. Yeah, so my envelope is ready. I will glue it down. Uh, with this kind of album, you really should have a double-sided paper 
or a double-sided colored card stuff. So the ones you are getting in Color Atom Kit will, will work really great because they have color on both sides. Or uh, you can have a white uh, inside and just glue it down with uh, pattern papers. Um, maybe it would work too. So my envelope is ready and I have two pictures that will come inside. I have to add them some background. Maybe I will use some of those giant uh, pieces from uh, Ephemera Pack by Good Vibes collection. I am not sure if it will fit inside. If not, I can trim it a little bit. No, it doesn't. It's only like a one millimeter too <laughs> short. So I will just trim down this, mm, but uh, I will do it later. First, I need to assemble my album. So those two pictures will come here. And this picture will come here. Uh, the picture uh, of my daughter blowing the cake will come here and the pictures of Gabrisha holding a balloon will come will come here and and I have also uh, those tiny pictures of the food I prepared for the party and there is also a cake uh, for Gabrisha so I will add them somewhere here. I don't have a picture for this side because I thought I will maybe add some tag or something like that. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I will search uh, for the matching stuff. And this was designed to be a kind of a pocket. So you have to uh, glue down uh, this, uh, this triangle on one side, but if you don't want to do that and you need additional space for the picture, you can just trim it off and use this flip as a place for a picture. You can also add the picture loosely, just slide it in here like that uh, or add a few more pictures, not only one, it will also look good. And I'm really, really surprised how many pictures you can put in this really small album and uh, and I think this is an excellent idea. So let me uh, move those pictures. And now I want to cover some of those patterns with uh, another layer of paper. And I am having, let me check maybe some of the Project Life cards will work. This one is not good, this is not, not. But maybe this one, uh, no, I don't like this blue color. This one is also too colorful. Hmm. Maybe this one. I will think of it later. This one is pretty. I don't do my project life. I probably uh, shared this info <laughs> uh, in some of my videos recently. Um, because I don't have time, I think you either make layouts or a project life. You can't make both if you are me and you like embellishing <laughs> your stuff. So uh, I will uh, find some elements uh, that uh, will fill those areas here. Let me take my uh, papers and okay. So I was thinking about this pattern because I have some leftovers, but I think it's just too busy. And maybe those here and here. I'm not sure, I will leave it aside. I will think about it later. Um, I have this pattern too, but this is just too busy to cover uh, those areas. Maybe the craft one, no, I don't like the craft. And I like this one. And I think it would look nice here uh, maybe here let me see it with this picture and i could add some colorful embellishments yes i think i will use it here and here and think about those later uh, page designed the uh, rectangles 
uh, cut files so you don't have to measure them you just cut them with the silhouette cameo using the files but I am too lazy to run my machine so many times I will just take my pencil and mark the lines uh, here and here and I will just use my uh, trimmer to trim the paper and I will have a matching uh, rectangles for my for my album base so this one is the first one and I need a second one here uh, this paper will be good to trim it and I was wondering if I should uh, add this paper with stripes uh, for the cover or for the inside but I thought the cover um, that the inside will be covered with some rectangles so this busy pattern won't uh, be a problem uh, while embellishing your page okay so this is it and here we'll go pictures of Maya and Gabrysia kissing and Gabrysia blowing her cakes and this is it and this is the stuff I like doing when I am creating albums before I glue things down I use um, paper clips they don't have to be so pretty to you know adhere uh, stuff temporarily and this so I know how it will look like and uh, it doesn't move Okay, and, and let me pause for a minute. Okay, I am back. <laughs> uh, I had to reply some messages. Um, okay, what I was talking about, probably that I like adhering it temporarily, so I know where uh, the pictures goes and how the background will look like. And I think adding more of this paper will be just too busy. So I am thinking about this navy here um, and here and this side may be pink paper. I think it would be a good idea because I only have this small amount of uh, this pattern and adding it on the one side and not having it anywhere else would be or oh, maybe I will use it here and this one no just too wide <laughs> yes I am a woman <laughs> something can be just too wide okay so uh, I will measure it here because this side is exactly the same as this one and I will trim off this excess And as I am trimming it, I am thinking if I do not, uh, if I shouldn't leave it blank. I'm not sure because I will put something here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's why I do not uh, <laughs> use, uh, I do not make live videos because I am just too much of a thinker. Okay, now it's time for those little parts and I will mark it here and I will trim it and I need to remember to talk constantly because if I want you I will forget you are there listening not literally there because this is not a live video but you will be there so <clears throat> I have to remember about that Okay, so I don't see the second line. Maybe I didn't make one. Um, okay, so it's trimmed and time to add this line here. Uh, I really need to buy some smaller uh, trimmer, I think, for my desk. But I like this one. I have it <laughs> since I started scrapbooking in 2009, I think. Uh, this is my first tool I bought and uh, it's really old but it still works really really well and I don't like 
throwing out stuff because it's not uh, fashionable anymore or uh, there are better models i i'm sure there are i also had a tonic studio guillotine but it's big it is this 12 by 12 uh, uh, it's bigger because the paper that goes there is 12 by 12 so this guillotine doesn't fit my desk and uh, it's not handy and I use it only when I have to cut a lot of elements. Okay, so it would go here. Where are my clips? Uh, they are from the hip kits too, so I can use them um, in my designs later uh, if I will uh, if I will want to. So I am missing one clip because I don't have that many. I will have to search in my secret stash stash box and I found some star and I will uh, use it temporarily okay so all my uh, pages are quite done I am not sure if I will uh, cover it uh, and here are the pictures this one and this one here and maybe this one here and those pictures will go so it will close like that and this picture will, will go here and this picture will go here so this is how my album will look like more or less and uh, i saw pages version of this album uh, like yesterday on the video and I really liked how she uh, made it because she used uh, a lot of pictures and there is the place you can uh, add a ribbon so you can uh, open your album uh, just unglue the, uh, the bow <clears throat> but I don't have a temporary glue kind of a uh, uh, glue <laughs> so I have to think uh, outside the box I will just make uh, something like that uh, not of this paper of course but from some other paper uh, I will add the bow here but it won't be openable I will just slide it away so I can open my album and when I'm done with the album I will put it again because I don't have this kind of a glue that you can just, you know, open it and when you are done with uh, watching close it, I will assemble the bow uh, now. All you have to do is to glue two sides in this point and just bend them and the second side. I have to hold it for a while because my glue doesn't work like instantly it takes time to uh, catch the paper uh, and I am also adding a glue here and here and this is the part you add in the middle of your bow so I added one here and I am gluing down the second part on the other side but I need to add a drop of glue for this one too. And I need to hold it because my glue doesn't work instantly. Okay, it doesn't look, it isn't looking that good. I <laughs> slide it too little here. Let me open it once again and let me make it right. Luckily, my glue understands me and you can reposition it. Okay, now it's better. And now I can add a glue one more time. And the piece that goes in the middle. One more time. Just keep it straight. And it's done. And now it's time for this for this piece this is you the stuff you glue under the bow why isn't it looking good messed up something 
maybe I did. <laughs> I will not touch it again. Okay, and I am going to trim it a little bit in the middle because I don't like when this part is visible uh, from beneath the, um, the bow and adding glue here and my bow is ready and it's looking pretty if you don't know that it's a little bit wonky and it will go here uh, with some uh, paper strip that will be around wrap, wrapped around the album okay so it's time to embellish the inside because as i said i wanted this video to be less than an hour and i am wondering if i should sew around those elements i like sewing with my sewing machine but i'm feeling a little bit lazy today so maybe not yes or not yes or not I just sew around this, but I will only sew around this element and this element and glue it down into the album, I think. I will be back uh, in a second for you or a few minutes for me because I need to sew it around and I don't want to do it uh, while you are watching because it's not you won't see anything and it will be noisy and and I will be back. Okay, I am back. I sew a few pieces uh, with my sewing machine. I used a black thread because I was too lazy <laughs> to change for the pink one. Uh, yes, let's say it loudly. I am not. <laughs> I am not a busy bee type of a person if I don't have to. I left those uh, loose uh, thread because I like how it's looking. Maybe I will cut it out later. I am not sure, but... For now, I will uh, leave it, and now it's time to glue down some uh, parts because oh, they are already sewn around, and I will rotate it because I want this thread to be on this side. I am using this glue called uh, Magical Glue. It's a Polish glue. It's uh, so cheap. It costs less than a dollar. And I'm using it constantly. Uh, I am telling you this because I have a lot of <laughs> questions uh, under my YouTube videos about, about the glue I am using. So it's not any fancy glue. Uh, it's a cheap one. I think it's the same like a tacky glue, glue or Arlene's glue. Uh, I don't see the difference. I was using both the different is in the packaging because this is uh, glue in this metal uh, metal i don't know how to say it in english it's like a toothpaste from many ages ago when they were uh, they were selling them in the metal containers and now they sell them in the plastic ones so uh, so where's my pin so you don't really see a lot of that <laughs> out there and, and those elements need gluing down too uh, i will rotate it add the glue here uh, add the picture temporarily and the same here I also added a sew here because uh, I glued it down, but uh, sewing will make it uh, stronger. And I think uh, those stitches here needed a balance on the other side of the album too. So that's why I added it. And the last element before adding the pictures is this one. And yeah, it's all glued down. I don't need this anymore because it won't fall out. <coughs> this picture goes here. This picture goes here. And first I will deal with all those pictures that are on the flips of the album. Or flips, I think you call them flips. And uh, I will leave this envelope for uh, later. <coughs> And now let's start with this. This is a blowing a cake uh, picture. And 
I am a freak when it comes to the framing the pictures. When I cannot print the picture with the frame, like in this case, I usually add a frame. And I think I will add a frame for those pictures too, using this navy color, just tiny one, but it makes your pictures pop out from the page. And I will just, no, 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 no. I am using double-sided tape to adhere the pictures because uh, <laughs> there is the rumor that it works better for the pictures when it comes to this archival um, archival thing, you know, there is no acid in this tape, they say so, so I believe them, I use three, uh, scissors to trim down the excess of the paper, I could use a trimmer, but I'm too lazy <laughs> to match it and trim it, scissors are much faster, and I wasn't like that, um, when I was a younger scrapper, I liked to measure things very accurately. I didn't like randomness and it took me ages to finish page, album and I didn't like it. And one day I watched the video of my uh, scrappy friend, Polish scrapbooker Mira Jurecka and Mira was making an album and she just took uh, scissors and cut things by hand it was like oh my god what is she doing she will not do it straight and then she finished the album like in hour or two and i was amazed wow it's more important to finish the album no than to measure the album perfectly and this was some kind of uh, you know revelation for me and the moment when i thought that maybe uh, perfectly straight lines aren't the essential of the scrapbooking. And well, it was the moment when I started measuring by eye and using scissors with no trimmer. Not always, of course, because I still like to measure myself some stuff, especially when I'm doing a mini album and I'm making pages for it. So I want them to be you know, uh, exactly the same, but when it comes with something like a little frame or stuff like that, I'm going to be wild. And I have a pictures and now it's time. No, I will glue down the pictures first and I will add some embellishments later. I only glue down the middle of the picture. Thanks to that, I can still add, you know, some little things under the uh, picture and uh, change my mind if I didn't like how the pictures are because it's easier to turn it out when torn torn out thrown out when you only have a glue in the middle of the picture then uh, around all pictures and I don't need those clips anymore now and now it's that picture it already has a white frame but it's not standing out so i am thinking of getting rid of this frame and adding the navy one yes it's a good idea so i need to trim the picture and this is the moment where i use my paper trimmer because because i cannot <laughs> trust myself with straight lines and I have no guidelines how to trace, trim them because uh, with frames you just follow the line you have and I have to be brave and use my trimmer and laziness have to go away for a while. Okay, so I have this pay, uh, picture ready and I need to add a frame and okay why i have this paper cut it in such a weird way i will use this corner adding a little bit of adhesive and gluing down the picture with a really small very thin uh, uh, frame because i don't want it to take too much place on my page i just want this picture to pop a little bit and trimming the excess yes and it's done and the picture will go somewhere here I think 
and in this at this point I think I need to find some matching embellishments because I am not sure if I should glue it here here or here and maybe some elements uh, from the sticker sheet or stuff like that will help me with making my decisions this album uh, is not supposed to be bulky so you don't um, I think you're really not supposed to use uh, thick elements like uh, 3D foam squares and stuff like that. You just glue things down uh, like they are. So I am having these 3D stickers from uh, Good Vibes collection, but I don't think I will use one. Because I, will f I think it will be hard to close the album. Maybe I will go uh, into this direction. Oh, such a pretty llama. What can I do with the llama? Will it fit the theme? I will check this pretty llama. It's not related to the birthday party whatsoever, but yeah, I like llamas. Not that you can find them in Poland. <laughs> Uh, you can find a cow, a horse, or maybe a chicken, but not the llama. Okay, llama goes here. No, she's flying in the air. She needs to go here. She needs some ground under her legs. Okay, so I have a llama, or maybe not. <laughs> I am just wondering about adding some of those um those those here's the hooray and maybe i will add it here yes it's a good idea because we are blowing a cake and everybody is singing a happy birthday and it would be a good idea i will cover the cake on one of the pictures but i have it uh, here so it won't be a problem to remember how it looked like not that it was some amazing cake to remember it was just an ordinary cake and i still have the pictures in my computer if i needed to um to remember how it looked like so this hooray looks perfect here and i need something here <sighs> far out number one fun maybe a word yay or what I am dreaming. You are awesome, dream big, the best day ever, smile, happy, think happy, maybe a uh, yay would be a good idea. It's some party themed word still. And where are I supposed to add it? Here? On the llama's back? Decisions, decisions, decisions. They are not easy. No. Lama, you have to go away for a while. I will be go back for you, but this yay uh, will look good here with some cacti. Yes or no? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Even more yeses here. One cacti here. And one cacti, cacti cactus. Why I am saying cacti? One cactus here, two cactis together, and a yay, yay, happy hooray! And uh, I have those uh, stars from Pinker Studio, and they are those I know I said before about it. Those you know we got it earlier than anybody else. And I am going to add some. I'm not sure if I add, should add yellow stars or uh, pink ones. I will try both. This is something what I usually do. I am trying stuff and putting it down. It's not gluing anymore to the original <laughs> page. Uh, and it happens uh, with the tickers mostly because, I don't know, they glue. glue uh, works well uh, when they are originally glued down to the you know this white paper they come with but when you unglue them and 
uh, from the original uh, storage and you try to glue them down, they are not working anymore. This is a mystery for me and stickers are usually the stickers I add glue. So for me, they do not have to have any glue because I am adding my own um, my own glue. I want to say it, how to say it differently and not to use the word glue again. I don't know, so I have to all add my own sticky something so it will uh, hold the page. And when you are using a gesso, most of the stickers are just dead and you have to sew them down or uh, staple them or use your own glue once again because they do not hold well. I would say they do not hold at all. Okay, so three stars here and the yay. And it's looking pretty good right now. And hooray! And let me look for some embellishments here. We have this difficulten um, embellishment <laughs> pack, but most of the embellishments are will be just too big to fit my page. This bird is quite little, but I don't like the colors of this bird, and there is no place for him here. No, everything is big. There is no small elements here. No, the Vicky Bhutan goes away. And let me check the uh, good vibes. I don't know why, but there is this, you know, not tendency, can I say tendency in English, trend, or oh, trend, 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 for the ephemera to grow. They keep adding bigger and bigger elements and love yourself. It's looking good. Uh, best friends, I believe it. And they keep growing, so it's really hard to fit them into the smaller spaces like mini albums and they only can be a kind of a divider, you know, element you put uh, between the pages, not on the pages. And I am not sure if I like it, to be honest. Not that I don't like great paper ephemeras because I love them. Dream big, it's a good word for a birthday album. But somehow still just two big elements, you know, like this tag. It won't fit into my album. Um, I'm searching for some matching elements. I like those cork elements, cork stars. They are added into the collection and I think I will use them. Uh, I have more of them. We can vibes, it doesn't match. Be happy with right be you. I would use it, but it's just too big. Once again, I would have to trim it, and this one is too tall, and uh, the album won't close up. Ice track is fun, but not for the birthday team. And this tag is also to be good vibes only. No, it won't close with this big tag. So as you can see, almost nothing matches the page, <laughs> only the cork stars pages because they are just too big. Maybe this cacti would fit and it's looking pretty good. Yes, I will leave this cacti. So thank you, good vibes. And the last but not least, I uh, have this, um, these tags and other elements. They are from, uh, from mix number two a collection by Pink Fresh Studio and they are smaller and those are the Vicky Bhutan uh, elements uh, why I am keeping them here I am not sure I have to put them here and let me check uh, those Pink Fresh Studio elements um, I also have those stars and I am not liking the color here but when you look under the vellum part you can see that there is a shiny gold star so i just throw away the vellum part and i have those pretty 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 stars in gold color so just go away ugly vellum and i will have more stars uh, to use okay so those are smaller elements and i will be considering using them 
and good stuff you know too white i don't know <laughs> i am feeling it will be just too white for this uh, good vibes collection uh because let's see it here you know it's just too white <laughs> i have never had this problem before but white color in crepe paper collections isn't that white i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but this is kind of a dirty white uh, color and it usually doesn't match uh, any other white card stocks and stuff because oh delicious it matches perfectly to this moment for stars to use good vibes moments and everyday magic but it's just all too white another piece from uh, Vicky Bouten no they are just too white all of them too white yes to our new adventures maybe this one uh, green one doesn't match this is my favorite place it can match currently and adventures no the green one is hideous and uh, let me uh, let me pause for a minute i am back <coughs> okay so uh, let's go back to creating and finishing it okay so when it comes to this page i think i will add a clip here and i will leave this tag and this cacti here because I like how are, are they looking together and I will add this cork star and maybe some other color uh, some smaller star the yellow one yes, I like navy and yellow combined together <coughs> and maybe a pinkish one too okay so gluing down the cork star they are very fragile and you can easily just break them in half so you have to be careful and i'm thinking of some small really small uh, inscription hmm, what i am having here let me see um those are from uh, Vicky Bhutan and that was awesome but it's just too big this flower is looking really good maybe I will add it but let me check here is there some small inscription oh awesome it would be awesome to use this awesome I think yes it's looking awesome <laughs> okay I am lame <laughs> okay so this is ready this is ready and uh, i need to add something here to finish it maybe some uh, small flower or something like that what i am having here this flower and this flower are looking nice and they are quite small so it would be easy to use them and i do not have a small bird what slice of pizza would be good? Uh, no, I am thinking about those about those flowers here and some some stars maybe. Mm, hooray! And what we have here? Inspire, reason to celebrate. Oh, maybe uh, celebrate where I can open it. Oh my God! I'm just looking at the computer and my desk looks so messy <laughs> you can even see the mini album between all those piles of everything i will make a room <laughs> uh, okay so this is um this is celebrate oh it's just too dark to put it here um no maybe one of those from a uh, crate paper Hooray! Not great paper from um, from a Pink Fresh Studio. This happened and it's looking really good. I will add it here and I will add a drop of glue 
under it and I will tuck it in under this hooray sticker. This happened, I have a flower here, maybe uh, no cork stickers, I will let them for this. I am in need for some of these. I like the yellow one, but but let's go. Let's go with the yellow one. Why not? And hooray, maybe here. And some smaller stars here and here. And I am adding a pink one here. And 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 maybe a navy one here or a gold one where are my gold stars yeah the gold one will look good but maybe some of these okay so the gold star is a good one i am speaking uh, weirdly now because i am having this in my mouth it's not healthy i know <laughs> okay maybe some of these here mm. or maybe these or this with the heart inside okay so i'm um, feeling this one is finished too and it's time to move on this side mm, the cork stars and those i am in a need of packing those uh with some paper and i will use the pink paper i used previously to uh to cut this envelope but let me find it first okay i just <laughs> i just made my pile of papers that fall down just fall down from the um, table and i will use this area and glue down the picture and I will just cut it with my scissors. And I, I'm hoping I'm not boring you to death because I don't have any funny anecdotes about making those kind of albums. And <clears throat> I'm a boring person. Let's face it. Second picture. <clears throat> and. <laughs> to be honest, I like talking to myself, so this kind of a video is just perfect for me, I think. <laughs> I need to make more of those. Because, you know, now I am not feeling lonely and I'm feeling I have a company, even if I don't. And even if not much of you will uh, watch it, uh, I still think like I am doing it for some purpose. And... And I'm liking it. I should make a lot of live videos to bore people to death with my uh, talking. <laughs> what do you think? Should I? Or I shouldn't? It should be banned because, you know, it's not healthy. Yes? Okay, I will get rid of it because I don't need this one anymore. And the last picture. And, and what I was talking about? I was talking about making live videos what do you think should i or shouldn't i make live videos is my english good enough do you understand me do you like the way this brilliant mind works and how the creativity juices creative juices are flowing around and your mojo is just you know that high and you like my nails I have a winter nails, new ones, and you know, stuff like that. Because you know, I can make some, but I live in Poland, so I don't think the time for the video uh, would be uh, good for most of you out there, because probably the middle of my Polish night would be the best idea to record the videos for you. <coughs> Not record made it live videos for you okay so this and this and this will go here and i have this delicious uh, inscription i will add this cork sticker here i think and i will add some more cork stickers here 
why not it's looking really pretty and the last one will go here i am brilliant <laughs> let's face it i am brilliant <sighs> what can you say more this nice it's looking nice and i will just glue things down before i will change my mind don't you think it's a good idea and i am really hoping all this will just close up pretty and i will have no uh, problems with you know closing it all because it will be just too big and uh, just too thick not too big to to be closed okay i am lacking of words and just a minute ago i was uh, hoping to make live videos <laughs> I really shouldn't. I made some live videos in the past, but I am always worrying if it's you know not boring. If you like watching like videos, maybe the hour is not good because I didn't have too much of um, an audience, and I was pretty much talking to myself. <laughs> Some of the Polish game girls came, but they wasn't happy. I am not speaking in Polish because, you know, I should have if it's my native language. But also in Poland, uh, not that this is a bad thing, but uh, I don't think this kind of scrapbooking I'm making is so popular. Polish girls prefer uh, mixed media. Uh, Polish girls prefer, um, you know, these projects like canvases, like a Finaber, uh, Finaber style, uh, a Prima style, and uh, this kind of scrapbooking isn't that popular in Poland. This is just my impression. Maybe uh, this impression is wrong. Maybe it's very popular, but I haven't discovered it yet. But yeah, I think that uh, I would need some more audience. <laughs> than just five people for my live videos and I should start begging people to come I think um, okay let's change the subject because I am talking crap um, this one is quite ready I think of adding this tiny 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 what is it enamel dot but you know it's thicker than an enamel dot. I don't know, uh, this is not the exactly ones we are using enamel dots and I like this yellow one and maybe I will use this clip here. It's looking nice. Oh yes, it's looking very nice. Oh my god, I am a genius. <sighs> and And maybe some of those, no they are not matching my page. They do not match my page and I am thinking of something from this, maybe a little flower or with a leaf. Here is a leaf, maybe a slice of pizza. Mm. Okay, let's try with this leaf and this flower, but I'm thinking this flower might be a little bit too little for this big, for, for leaf this big maybe I should add more flowers do I have more flowers yes I have one here so maybe like a set of flowers okay I need to unglue this down okay yes they are looking better uh, right now and uh, I am thinking of some navy element maybe this one I have one here one here and one here okay so I am feeling this side is quite ready maybe some word sticker uh, the celebrate once again why it's just so dark i don't know i used the dark here but still i don't feel it just too dark maybe another color no 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 okay 
I'm starting <laughs> making weird noises. It's not good for you, I think. Okay, where is my picture? Here is my picture. And I need to frame it, of course, using this pink paper I use for the inside. My advice for you is if you are making mini albums, don't go too wild with embellishing. With embellishments you are going to use, if you will put on your desk too much stuff uh, you are thinking of using, making your mini album will just last hours and hours and it will be hard to finish it and you'll be struggling with what uh, you should have to use and if it was a good idea and stuff like that. Limit your stash. Put only some essential on the desk. Uh, you can dive for enamel dots later, but with the major stuff, just pick some really, really few and then you won't have the problem Okay, let's try to close it. Uh, you won't have a problem if you know that, that you don't really follow <laughs> what, what you have and it takes you too much time to create a page. Okay, maybe this side would be good. And now I need to add some embellishments. I used my cork stickers, maybe this golden... Um, golden star would look good and I have another one yes this is a waste <laughs> don't you think buy a stars with a vellum and just throw away the vellum but I got them in the kit I don't like them uh, and I think this is a great idea to customize the stuff you have and the great idea to use them if you don't like them like they are in the package just uh, you know change them paint them uh, use them with some media sprays and gesso and stuff like that and change it change it to the way they uh, matches you and your creativity and and you know don't be afraid it's not written anywhere in the stars that you have to use it just the way it is and if you will use it other way, you will, you know, just make some, commit some sin or something like that. Okay, this is the, this is uh, why I like gluing pictures only in the middle because I can uh, redo them because I wanted to add this bird. Uh, from Vicky Bhutan and to add this bird I need more space here because I need my uh, album to close and nothing can uh, you know stick out from the uh, from the page and that's why I needed to take this picture down and those stars are looking good I think yes I I like them here so I will glue them down. It's sticking outside in this side, but it won't be a problem because now there is this empty space. Okay, so oh, I have a glue in my mouth. It wasn't a good idea to hold it in my mouth. Um, okay, now I don't, I'm not liking the bird light now. <laughs> I am a woman. <sighs> Let me try this flower, maybe. Isn't it too big? Oh my god, I have issues. I definitely have issues. This flower, this bird is nice, but it's just too big. I cannot use this cacti because it's too big. Let me try with this one. If it will not work, I will glue this down again. Okay, the flower is pretty, but it sticks out. No matter how I glue it down, it sticks. No, 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 no. Maybe this way. Okay, this way is looking pretty good right now. I will leave it like this. And I will add something here, something. I have to add something. I will 
change the position of the star to here <coughs> and I will add another happy star here the pink one is looking really good okay let me think of some other subject I can speak topic subject topic subject because I don't want to just speak like glue it here, trim it off, and because it's boring and I have such big personality yay, and I have so much to talk with you. Maybe, maybe what? <laughs> okay, I don't know if you know that I am a geologist. Uh, yes, I am. I am not working as one right now because now I am raising a kid and this, it is a tough process uh, that is ruining my um, no psyche. Uh, but I am raising a kid. I'm not working as a geologist, but I really loved uh, geology when I was um, wondering what I ha I should study and uh, I picked this because I thought it would be the adventure of my life you know and it was <laughs> until I bore I uh, labor born I born my children I delivered them to this world and it <laughs> became a pale adventure um, uh, when it comes to raising kids but uh, I was like a kilometer above the earth surface uh, when I was uh, at uh, studying geology and it was the amazing adventure and <clears throat> my major is uh, mineralogy and petrology and geochemistry and I was dealing with uh, you know those precious stones like maybe not diamonds no one gave us diamonds but all the precious stones and I was holding in my hands them I was trying to you know name them uh, using the features they didn't say say to us what kind of mineral I am holding in my hand I had to examine that uh, to recognize the features of this and it was really a great great adventure but you know i am not working as a geolo geologist for a few years now and i don't think i will go back to this anymore i'm more like irit i am hoping that someday scrapbooking will be my major source of income when i will uh, raise my kids enough to have more time for myself to grow um, to grow my maybe business is just too big word but you know develop myself with the classes and with the uh, with the ideas our ideas i have a lot of ideas but i just don't have time to make it all work I have a few classes at big picture classes but <clears throat> honestly I cannot make more of them because of the lack of time I have I am in many design teams right now and I have to work um, not have to it, it's a pleasure of course but I have uh, commitments I have to meet deadlines and it's all you know making uh, me a very busy person with the time I have uh, because I don't have a lot of time uh, every day my kids uh, are nine and four Maya is attending the um, preschool uh, but she is sick very often and you know you can't plan anything with the kids so small I know probably most of you are <laughs> Are having kids is having kids most of you is having kids I'm not sure and so you know what I am talking about it's not easy to plan it's not easy to manage your time you never know uh, what will your day look like even if you, you know think of I will make uh, three videos today and it comes to today and you don't have time to make a single video because your daughter uh, is sneezing sick and you know nothing funny 
and my husband is working really late uh, so um, I can't count off of him on him on him uh, when it comes to you know raising kids and helping with me helping me with uh, with home what do you say how do you say it responsibilities you know cleaning washing <laughs> and stuff like that okay so let's go back to the album because uh, i started boring you right now um most of my pages are embellished this one and this one uh, and this one and those are finished and i think i almost finished those um, maybe some small elements added here but i have this area and that is quite empty and i think i should add something here maybe this love yourself um uh, i am going to add something here but this this dream big is looking really nice and i was hoping to use it and i love this bird too but it's just too big oh my llama i forgot about my llama my llama goes here of course look how pretty she is and she matches the spot perfectly llama i am so happy to see you here maybe it's an alpaca i am not sure but i'm happy that she is here and i will use those stickers to add some dimension without adding too much dimension oh llama and some golden sticker here below the llama maybe maybe this golden star is looking pretty awesome under my llama oh i can't believe i already forgot about it luckily my eyes went out randomly and looked for a llama and now it's all perfect okay <clears throat> i am done with it i need to lift it a little bit to add this golden sticker under my llama and i need to change the position of this yellow star for I, oh okay yes I like how it's looking right now and maybe something here some little 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 hmm, word sticker smile smile is looking good oh, 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 oh I have an idea those were the nine nine, nine birthday of Gabrisha so I will use this nine here oh my god i am brilliant <laughs> and this smile will go here oh yes 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 i like how it's looking and all i have to do is to embellish the envelope and the inside of the envelope mm. was it supposed to be like that I think I know maybe it's it, it is how it's supposed to look like I like this dream big but it doesn't like me somehow let me check for some other uh, sticker that can be placed here um, I'm liking this stamp and I think of you i am thinking of using it but i don't think it will be a good idea for this place maybe something like that and uh, another circle in the middle no i am liking how it's looking right right now uh, maybe some of those stickers this bird is looking nice okay I need to place it right in the middle okay it's here and it's sealed the envelope and I'm thinking of adding a stamp here but all the stamps I have here I are just too big I don't have a smaller stamp no I don't 
maybe I shouldn't add anything. Maybe the string be too much here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's check here. Does they ever? Hmm. Let me think for a while. Maybe a happy birthday. Uh, created with those. Would it be a good idea? Maybe I will write in Polish, so it's only Stolat, so it has only six letters, so I will use less of them, because happy birthday is so long. Yeah, Stolat will be good. So Stolat is in Polish, that means happy birthday. And <laughs> if you are looking for a shorter version, you can use Stolat. Why not? Okay. S T O L A T and voila. <laughs> so usually most of the words in Polish are much longer than the ones in English. But Stolat is, um, is an exception, and you know what is an exception, if you are curious how the Polish uh, words are. Well, in English, if you want to say about the day that is 24 hours, so that you work uh, seven days a week, 24 hours uh, a day, uh, so 24 hours a day in Polish is just doba, four letters. Doba. You don't have to say 24 hours and this is uh, something the English doesn't have this word. You just have to basically say 24 hour and no, uh, no, you know, <laughs> no, a short word of saying that. Uh, that's why I like Doba in Polish and, and I'm thinking of other words that may be a good example of that i'm not sure but maybe maybe i will say about words that are longer in polish than in english so happy h a p p y only five letters in polish it's szczęśliwy a a ten letters sorry <laughs> I had to count this well. This is so embarrass embarrassing. So I had to count it. But it's 10 letters and they are uh, like uh, letters you even don't have in English. L, uh, ash. So those are the letters you probably never heard of. And this is the S with this, you know, a little, um, little, uh, little, 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 a uh, little line above it so uh, you probably have never heard of uh, those letters because they are not in English okay so uh, word happy word uh, zabawne fun you only have three letters we have much more letters and uh, when it comes to words like this I, this, I prefer to using uh, English but sometimes, like, Stolat is much better than Happy Birthday, right? Let me drink something. And I promise I am coming to an end with this album. All I have to do is to add those two pictures inside. And I was thinking of adding one of them on this uh, card from, um, from the ephemera pack by Crate Paper. But it's just a little bit too big and I will trim it using my trimmer. Just a little bit. Uh, I'm happy I am using it because I know that this is that big that I will not use it uh, for anything else. And I'm not a journaling type of a person. I don't do journaling a lot uh, of my layouts. <laughs> I am... Uh, I think, oh, well, I'm run out of the tape. 
um, I have the impression that I will remember everything, you know, what was on the pictures and that's why I'm not making any journaling. Maybe I should because, you know, when I will be old, uh, I start forgetting things. I will be wondering uh, uh, what was this layout about or maybe I have problems with recognizing which daughter is on the picture because when they were uh, little, they were very uh, similar <laughs> to each other. Okay, and I will glue down this picture. Oh, my glue is almost finished. I need to add some more. I need to use a new one. Okay, and I was thinking of this dream big. And uh, it will look good like this. Yes, it will. Okay, so a little bit of glue under this. And I ate the glue again. I am not learning at all. <laughs> I am, you know, this blind part of the evolution <laughs> evolution tree branch, you know. <laughs> It won't follow any longer than I am. I wouldn't survive in the wild, and I think I am not going to survive at home. And some yellow star here, and 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 hmm, and and the yellow star here. Let's go right with yellow. Okay. So the first picture is ready and yes, it's matching now. And I have one more picture when Gabrysia, where Gabrysia opens her, uh, opens her gifts. And I was thinking of adding it here, but it's just too big. So I need to, maybe this project card will work well. I am not sure. Maybe I should need. I maybe I should use some navy. Oh, let me dive on the floor. Okay. So I have this navy paper, and maybe I'll just create a frame and put it inside like that. Yes, it's a good idea. And I will trim the excess here. I didn't cut out the paper well oh it's already that hour I need to make some dinner for the kids because they will come back from the school and kindergarten soon and they will be crying we are hungry mommy give us something to eat and I will say to them I don't have anything just I was scrapbooking <laughs> so you know you can't count of me when it comes to dinner today. No, I'm just joking. I am a good mom, <laughs> mostly. Uh, I will not leave my children without any proper meal. Uh, I will cook tomato soup today. And they will say that they no longer like tomato soup because something happened <laughs> in their brains and her fav their favorite soup that was uh, tomato soup will not be any longer their favorite soup they will not even like it anymore this is something that happens to me constantly and cooking dinners for my family is like a nightmare i don't know if your kids are like that too but my are mine are just you know Mm. Mm. They would only eat uh, chicken nuggets and fries or maybe even potatoes, mashed potatoes and uh, fish fried and basically that's it. <laughs> okay, so I have this picture, I have this picture, I will put it in the back because it doesn't have any embellishments. Okay, so... The inside is ready. I can, I should add some star here too, because you know, I need a three of them or maybe some other elements, but I need three elements. This word love is looking good. Okay, I will leave it like this and let's close it. 
Calm down. Okay. <laughs> I need to bend it a little bit. Oh, because it doesn't want to close easily. Okay, yes. Voila, I did it, but I did it wrong. I need to change the size sides. Okay, now it's good. And I have to squeeze it, squeeze it. Okay, and now uh, the last step is to create this, um, this, 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 you know, this paper strip. <laughs> I don't know the English word. And I am thinking about this paper. Uh, it's looking pretty. And I will just trim. Uh, let me try for it. And okay, I will have two rows of dots. And and now I need to. Oh, the other side is pretty too. But no, I will not go wild with it. Okay, so now I need to glue it down and trim the excess. I have to make it a little bit looser because I am going just to slide it uh, from it, from the album, but not too loose because it will slide away by itself. So I have to be able to move it, and I think this is a good um, a good a good position. Okay. And now I need to glue down this bow somewhere here to cover, uh, you know, the connection between two sides. Okay, I will have to leave it to dry. And I am thinking of adding something in the middle, like a golden star, maybe. <laughs> I need to get rid of the vellum. Okay, and... Yeah, the golden star will look really, really good here. So just a little bit of glue. And that's it. Let's wait for it to dry. Just pressing it with my finger. And we will be ready to open it and check if everything is working. And I will make a space. <laughs> For us to see if the album is looking good and I am thinking of another uh, star <laughs> wouldn't be just too much I don't think so there is no such thing as too much when it comes to scrapbooking okay so this is it album is ready bow is ready and this is how it looks on the back and uh, this is the front and it's really a surprise because it's quite boring on the outside but when you start opening it wow so many embellishments and pretty things and it's all shiny and yeah i am liking it it looks really pretty and i am happy i decided to use this uh, cut file by uh, page evans and it's looking pretty awesome okay so that's it my album is ready and you are ready <laughs> because i bored you so you can just uh, go to bed and fall asleep and uh, i'm thinking of making more of those videos if you are yes for this write me a comment or maybe leave a thumbs up or if you are no for this Write me a comment like, lady, don't go this way. Don't make an album. You are boring. And maybe stop here because I will cry uh, after that. <laughs> no, really. I'm good with the criticism and it won't be the first time since I have a YouTube channel. So just a good explanation why not would be good. But mean words, no, I will delete them. 
so you know more about my life about my husband about my children and thank you for watching because i still continue of boring you bye bye